day to go to Mission Critical Technologies. to understand where everything is at this exhibition. It's all arranged by the color of the carpet. It, it looks yellow, but it's a red carpet. Let's start the day. That's Francesco Frugiuela. That's what I said right, is it? Yeah. <laughs> all right, from Rapid Deploy. Now, at this exhibition, there are some companies talking about control room solutions, CAT solutions, and we got Hexacon over there, and we got Rapid Deploy over here. Francesco, what does your company bring to the table here uh, at the Microsoft Pavilion? Because that's where we are right now, isn't right. it? Right, right. Yeah, well, we are, Make it to make it simple, we are probably the most advanced platform on the market, being the one of the first completely cloud-based solutions. Uh, it's web-based, cloud-based, no infrastructure needed, um, no real implementation time, um, very easy to learn. This, let's say it's the next generation of, of computer-aided dispatch. Okay, so you can run the computer-aided dispatch on any computer? Yeah. Any software behind it? Any any operating system? Yeah, any. It will, the, the only requirement is to have a browser and an internet connection. Uh, everything runs out of uh, the Azure platform, so that's why you're here at Microsoft, yeah, right? Exactly. So, well, we we built our platform on complete Microsoft stack, so it's Microsoft technology running on Microsoft Cloud, and uh, that makes lots of things very easy to to do because it's very fast implementation time. It's really really short compared to the traditional. 12 to 18 months, uh, we can do uh, two to three weeks, uh, depending on the amount of data you want to load before you start. Okay. Um, well, the other thing that is that being on the cloud, we we enable two different things. One is the concept of uh, distributed public safety answering point, so you don't need to be physically somewhere to to dispatch or to do the call taking because. You don't need it. You don't need an infrastructure or a physical location. Uh, we have customers that have dispatchers doing their job from their homes or even from other countries. The second thing is that the cloud enables a lot of different capabilities that we would not be able to provide on our own, like artificial intelligence, uh, multiple translations, video analytics, picture analytics, and, and all that, that things that are given by the cloud, and then we just plug in and we provide that features to our clients. This is unique because of because of its size. See that facial recognition. This is really what you do with that captured data, focusing on the transition. You can get the sensing back to your fingers. Exactly. It's you know trying train to make the operator more efficient. We're going to deliver things, you know, in steps. So like everything is going to cloud computing will cloud dispatching be the future you think I think it is I think it's already there it, it is the future and I think the future is already available to to organizations that want to just move away from long implementation times huge costs and also being disconnected from the innovation cycle because purchasing cycles are like five to seven years and in five to seven years now is like 50 to 70 uh, 20 years ago so so you don't want to, to, to be left uh, in the past while you still keep trying to keep up buying a new stuff that was Francesco from rapid deploy um, by the way rapid deploy has not implemented one of the systems yet in Europe so the interesting thing is that the whole solution from rapid deploy is based on software the Microsoft Azure platform and according to Francesco, it's going to be the future. Uh, it saves implementation costs, it saves implementation time, it's very rapid to be deployed. And um, the fact is, right now, that he's still searching for some key customers in Europe.
although we have some very good customers running already in South Africa. Um, they're very busy in the United States. Um, if there's a future for computer-aided dispatch for cloud-based, I would say yes. In general, the light is going down right now. The light's going down, actually. We're leaving one of the last ones here yeah. to leave the building. So in other words, was this a good event? It was for me. Events like this are important to get the broader message out to exactly. more contributors that can bring solutions. All right, I think that's a good end, is it? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap.